Let's talk about Control 4 at Cedia 2022. So Control 4, I think, had a really cool showing at Cedia this year. And to me, actually, of, of all the companies that I was watching, all the products that I had an eye on in, in the multiple kind of like Cedia verdict videos that I'm making, is the company that is, is made something that I'm most likely to buy in the shorter term. And that's new remotes. So there were a couple other things related to all the different brands that are kind of under the Snap family for custom integrators. But the thing that I really want to focus on the most here that I'm most excited for personally is the new remotes. So they're calling them Halos. There's two models. There's a Halo and a Halo Touch. The regular Halo has a smaller LCD screen at the top, followed by a lower section full of hard backlit buttons. And even the Halo Touch model, which has a larger kind of uh, a larger screen element, color screen element that is in fact then a touch screen, a la the Neos. But the, the, the amazing, amazing improvement is it comes with a larger regiment of physical hard buttons. I've had these in the house for a while now. I don't remember. I got the, the Neos. Uh, I, I bought two of them right when they came out. Um, so I've had them the, the entire central life cycle that they've been under the Control 4 banner. And I have to say that I have a mixed relationship with these. I think they, they generally feel nice. I love, they feel high end. The aluminum, the touchscreen elements and all of that are cool. But I think the Neo was a miss in a lot of ways. This unused section down here really should have had transport buttons. And just using the touch screen, I, I think relying too much on a touch screen for remote control fails. A remote control is something that you want to be able to pick up, navigate without looking at it necessarily with your thumb, find things, the common controls that you're looking for, and you know, command and control and interact with your devices. And I really can't do that for most of my devices with this remote. With the Apple TV, you can kind of cheese it and get away with a few things because the, the up, down, left, right, and the OK button work for play, pause, and so on, but for Kaleidoscape and other things, it doesn't. You have to go to the touch screen. So generally speaking, when I want to do something, I got to pick this thing up, I got to wake it up, I got to shuffle through some different menus and find the control I'm looking for, then I can finally press it. It's a total pain. Not to mention, these things haven't really lived up from a reliability and a durability perspective. The one in our living room, it hasn't lived up to durability. This one actually ghosts. There's a lot of image retention on the screen. I was actually just recently talking to my custom integrator dealer friend, Dan DiCarlo at AudioVision, about what to do. Can we get a replacement? Is there still any warranty or whatever? But then Control 4 went and made the whole Neo a moot point. So I'm super excited about the Halos. I think it's kind of the perfect middle ground i hope between the older like sr260 which was all hard buttons essentially and a, and a little bit of of display at the top and the neo which again went too far into the realm of requiring touch so i don't know which ones i'm going to buy yet i hope to get my hands on both with dan as soon as he's able to get a hold of them bring them over check them out do some content around them but i, I think i very much see hopefully a halo remote replacing the neos both in the living room and in the theater in, in relatively short order. The one thing I'm not quite sure about is pricing. Quite honestly, I didn't like what I heard. MSRP on the touch might be getting close to a thousand bucks is what I heard. I, I don't know if that's fully accurate. I don't know how much less the regular Halo might be versus the touch. I hope it's a lot, but these Neos, I think we're on the order of $500. So that's a pretty significant increase. We'll see what happens with the MSRP. I do really hope that Control 4 managed to improve the durability of the remotes, that they've got better screens, no image retention, stand up to you know, daily family abuse and, and, and use and all of that. But um, I'm super excited for those. I think having hard buttons, having backlit hard buttons will make just navigating everything better. I find myself in my living room quite a lot uh, having had a preference to not even using the Neo and using the actual Apple TV remote instead because it just works a little bit better overall and it does more things with Apple. So the other thing that's pretty sweet to, to see some mentions about coming with uh, Control 4 and the Halos is voice control. And Siri was specifically mentioned with regards to the new Halo remotes as well. So with the new Control 4 OS software, I presume that's coming, and those Halos, if we can actually press a button on a Control 4 remote and issue a Siri command to an Apple TV, 
That is freaking amazing. One of the main reasons that I would reach for the Apple TV remote over over the Neo is that capability. One of the best things I think that Apple does with Siri on an Apple TV is the what did, what did they say command where it'll jump you back a little bit in your video stream, it'll turn the subtitles on automatically, replay a piece of content where you might have missed something that somebody said, and then continue forward from there where they turn the subtitles off. If I can get that capability alone on a Control 4 remote, man, I'll be singing praises of this company, let alone being able to just execute searches and other things like that. So one of the big failings of the Apple TV, kind of Apple as a platform, has been its, its lack of like custom integration capability when you have something like a Control 4 system. Quite honestly, like the drivers to control an Apple TV have been limited for a while. They, they were better in the past and then they kind of they kind of got worse here for a while. So if with this new the new Halo models and new Control 4 OS software coming, if Control 4 is able to get a level of integration and control of an Apple TV at a deeper level, I'm, I'm super thumbs up for that because Apple TV remains one of the most important source devices that I use throughout both of my spaces, then being able to have all of the other Control 4 elements on top of that is just aces. I can't wait for these. Again, I hope the price is right. I hope the durability and build quality stability is up there. And I hope all of these extra control voice in, in all of it lands like super strong. I'd actually been playing around a little bit lately with an Amazon Echo Flex. I only kind of just started scratching the surface with this. I was hoping to try it out for voice control with Control 4 in my room, as well as even playing around with like Homebridge on my Synology, on my Synology NAS and trying to set up maybe some Apple-based voice control of Control 4. Now all of that's just kind of like, uh, the little bit of effort I put into it anyway, might be just completely wasted and rendered moot by these new remotes directly. So they can't bring these things to the market soon enough. I hope we're not waiting until like spring of 2023 to get them. As with most pieces of technology, the shorter the, the runway, between announcement and customer availability, the better. Stay tuned to the channel and for sure, one way or another, whether I, I buy them, which one I buy, I, I do hope to be able to cover both of these in depth. I think the, the, the remote control is such an integral part of a control system choice. It really makes, it, it, it's the frontline device through which a lot of the interaction with the control system is done, takes place in all of that. So it's super, super important to get it right. And, and I don't think the Neo got it the halos though, I'm hopeful. I'm really, really hopeful again, making me very excited about some Control 4 prospects coming forward. Do you use Control 4? You buying a whole, whole, a whole block of halos as soon as you can get your hands on them. What do you think? Are you in for the regular? Are you in for the touch? Why or why not? Which one? Sound off in the comments. If you have any questions about Control 4, let me know what you would like to see me cover with regards to control systems and automation and all of that going forward. Otherwise, please do all the regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Leave some comments, even just the thanks, thumbs up, all of that. Comments are super helpful. And if you'd like to support the channel more directly so I can buy some halos and cover them on the channel, look down in the description below. There's super thanks, there's Amazon affiliate links, YouTube memberships, and more. Thanks so much for watching and coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.